Hi, my name is Richard Waisaki, and I am from Fort Mill, South Carolina, and I'm going to show you what's in my bag. First of all, we'll start off with my uh, distance drivers. Uh, my most overstable distance driver is uh, actually my autographed Phil Arthur uh, Special, and uh, this is my uh, go-to uh, long-range uh, sidearm and backhand disc, and uh, very uh, predictable in the wind and uh, almost any condition. This is my go-to disc, so that, that's my main dog. Uh, and then my uh, second down the line for the D1, this is also the 400, 400 G series uh, D1, and uh, this is my a uh, little bit a uh, little bit more broken in uh, D1, um, but still still got some life left in it. So yeah, this is the Team Stamp 400 G series uh, D1. That's my uh, second second down the list. And uh, we'll go to the last D1 in my bag, and uh, this one is actually the same plastic 400 G uh, Proto. And uh, this is the uh, my most broken in one uh, from uh, one of the first few I received and uh, started throwing. So it's uh, definitely uh, not my most overstable, but it's my most, uh, you know, I got the most time on the course and most throws with this one. So uh, this is my most broken in uh, longest flying D1. All right, now on to the 400G series D2s. This one is uh, my uh, most overstable D2, and uh, this is, this is my go-to D2, uh, you know, just like the D1s, you got your most most reliable one. So for certain shots, this is my most reliable D2. Uh, and then second of all, this is uh, the most second most overstable D2 in my bag, and you know it's very useful for uh, you know a little bit more glide and uh, longer longer throws with than, than the first first D2 I just showed you. So this is this is still uh, dependable and. Definitely one of my go-to discs for for the D2. And then, and then on to the D3. This one is the 400 400 series D3, and uh, I like really like this plastic. Uh, I like this disc. You know, it's over, overstable for the D3. A, lot, a little more glide, like I said, than the D2, but you know, it's, st it's still it still has some some stability, very controllable. So this is this is uh, my go-to D3. And then the my last, D, my last distance driver of, in my bag is the 400G series uh, D3, and this is the most most glidey D3 I, I've ever thrown, and far by far the farthest disc I've ever thrown. So this is this is I save this one for last because this is my 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 farthest flying disc. If I really need a long hole, long par fours, long four to five hundred foot holes. So this is my my uh, my if I have to really throw it far and not put too much effort into it, this thing will really glide far. So. Now on to my, my fairway drivers. I try to keep my bag as simple as possible, so I, I, ha I only have, you know, I don't have any D4s in my bag, but, but I like to just keep it simple, and I only have F2s and F3s, but we'll start off with the F2s. This one is uh, also the 400, 400 series F2, and, and it's uh, my most overstable, overstable F2, and I li really like it for headwind shots and the controlled, you know where I don't have to really I don't have to really throw it as hard more controllable than the than the than D3 or D2 or D1 so and then and then my second same plastic you know same just about the same disc I like to I like to do that with my distance so I can I can tell which ones are broken in and which one you know so I, it's more consistent for me and uh, I just try to keep my bag as simple as possible so this is my little bit straighter F2 and uh, you know, I, I got to watch if, I, if the little wind kicks up, so I can't throw this. I'll, th I'll throw the, the first one I showed you, so a little bit more stability. But this one has definitely has its uses. A, a little bit of uh, back when I throw a backhand, you know, a little left to right turns, and uh, really a nice nice disc for me. This one is my uh, most flippy F F2, and uh, it's a 400 series also F2, and. Uh, it's very, it's very very flippy, but for the F, for the F2 series at least, I like to like I said I like to have the same same mold, but just have it do different things. So you know everyone's different, but I like to have the same disc and just uh, break it in at different different levels, so that so that the same disc will do different things. And uh, so this one is uh, the most flippy, but it's still for very controllable for me and the most uh, you know wood shots and, and tunnel shots that they go a little right. So this is very predictable disc for me, and uh, I really like this one. Now on to the mid ranges. I'll start off with the. Uh, this is a 700 700 series uh, M3, and this one is my most broken in M3. Uh, I really like this one. 
you know, it's really, I can hyzer flip it when I'm throwing backhand and re really, uh, I don't throw it in too much in open holes, but, but in the woods and, you know, tough tunnel shots, I like to throw the, the flippy M3 very controllable and uh, I don't have to throw it too hard and, and it'll uh, take, take my flight that I want it to. All right, now I'll show you my, my next disc down the line for the wear and tear of my M3s. This one is uh, a little, a little more stable and, uh, I'm able to actually throw this one sidearm too, as it, as well as backhand. It's a little more stable. Um, I can put a little more torque into it without it turning over. So, you know, this is this is a definitely a useful disc for my bag for certain shots. Um, uh, definitely, definitely goes a little bit more left than my the one I just showed you. It's more the broken in one. So this one has has, has its uses. Then the same disc, just uh, farther towards the st more st stable side. This one's uh, more straight and uh, and very very stable and stable to straight, and it, that's that's where it fits in my bag. Um, and, it, and it's very predictable. I can crush it and it, throw it pretty hard, and it'll go straight. It's definitely not going to barrel roll into the ground like some mid ranges, or some some discs. But this one is, is is my my straight disc if I want to throw it hard and have it go straight. So this is this is my go to straight disc. This is my most overstable M3 of, of all my M3s. It 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 does the most. It, it, I can throw it does the most bends with it. I can throw it left to right sidearm or right to left backhand. So it, it does just about any of those type of bending shots. All right, that's it for my mid ranges. Now I'm going to go to my throwing putters. My first first thrower putter is uh, my a little bit broken in. PA2 and this one has a little wear and tear on it. It'll still go straight, but just like any PA2, it's still got a lot of beef in it. And uh, I can throw it. it; doesn't go as far as my M M3s, obviously, but it still has it still has its place in my bags. So the, the PA2 has really worked. It's a really good spot in my bag, and it's and it's very overstable to, to, to begin with. But it breaks in really well, and that's what I like about this. And this is my most broken in one. So now I'll go to go to my other one. This one is almost a brand new, it's a very pretty disc, same disc, PA2 400 series. It's my most overstable, and it, it does just about this, has about the same flights as an M3 for me, but it just doesn't go as far. So it, it, if anything under 300, 300 feet, I can throw this thing, and it, it, and it really works for me. It's really predictable, and I can throw it, like I said, sidearm or backhand, and, and that's what I really like about it. It can take the torque, and uh, so that's my, my stable, most predictable putter, throwing putter. And now to, to the putters that I've actually just recently started throwing and putting with, uh, and that, that is the 300 series PA1. This one this one's a little bit a little bit broken in because it started as a th throwing putter actually, but then it's worked its way into into being a, as a putting putter just because it's a little bit straighter than the normal PA1s. But yeah, this one's really you know, it's got a, worked its good spot in my bag, and you know I'm really my main putter, so that's my first putter. My second putter is my kind of newer, same disc. Um, I, same disc as the last one, but I, it's a little bit more overstable, so maybe for a little bit longer putts. Um, I like to throw this one, but it just, just hasn't quite worked its way up to the main dog yet. Maybe once that one breaks in, breaks in a little bit too much, then I'll, then I'll switch them down the line. And that's the last of my, my putting putters, and uh, so that's what's in my bag.